This episode is sponsored by State Farm. From Scare Jordan comes his follow-up to the creepiest body swap movie since Nine Lives. Oh, Madison, I've been a bad kitty. In a smash hit packed with enough social commentary to trick snobs into watching more B-movie sci-fi horror flicks. I only watch for the complex racial allegories. <laughs> That's, uh, the Dred Scott decision. <laughs> Us. Enter the twisted nightmare of having to spend time in the woods with your lame-ass parents. You don't need the internet, you got the outer net. Plus your dad's crappy work friends. I I what do we say? I hate you. And some ashy relatives your mom never told you about in a film that black people can finally point to and say, hanging out with family sucks for us too, you know. We made it! We made it! Experience powerhouse dual performances by great actors unleashing their full range of crazy faces. <laughs> Anchored by Lapita Nyong'o, making a futile attempt to not look like a goddess who puts other actors to shame with her left tear duct alone. And Winston Duke, a man with truly frightening levels of BDE. Hey. Big Dad Energy. I'm just gonna watch the Giants highlights, okay? You know, in any other horror movie, he'd be the dumb jock who dies first. You got a cassette player and everything! By the seats! See what a real messed up family looks like with the arrival of the tethered doppelgangers with matching gold scissors, <laughs> special op hand gestures, <laughs> and Venture Brothers speed suits. I look like Santa's magic janitor. They're part of a subterranean clone army who walk like Sims. Talk like they spent the night doing Slayer karaoke. When the shadow was hungry, she had to eat rabbit raw and bloody. And go down like a bunch of punks. <laughs> What's so scary about yourself trying to kill you? No one sucks more than me. <laughs> Follow Jordan Peele on his evolution into the modern-day Hitchcock, who crafts deeply unsettling mysteries, then dumps exposition on you in the final act like the last scene of Psycho. He was simply doing everything possible to keep alive the illusion of his mother being alive. Because while the tethered were scarily effective as an allegory, the explanation that they're actually an underground experiment raises a few questions, like, is there a tethered for everyone in America? How is there enough space underground for them? How many people must have known about these experiments? How did no one find out in the last 30 years? Surely they were using enough electricity, water, and raw materials to raise some red flags? Can the tethered control their actions independently or not? If not, how are they executing this complicated plan? If so, why do they bother staying underground? Did the people who made the tethered forget to lock the door on their way out? How do they have the same body type as their double if their diet is 100% rabbit meat? The tethered ate the rabbits, but what do the rabbits eat? Where do they get thousands, if not millions, of red jumpsuits and scissors? How do they recreate everything in this small underground facility, which is like classrooms and hallways? What about people who live in big apartment buildings? How do they make vertical differences? Are there just piles of poop in the tunnels? What happens to your tethered when you travel outside the country? Do they just wait for you at the border or do they keep slamming in the wall like a video game character? What happens to your tether incessantly in the corpse when you die? Is my double voice more epic sounding than everyone else's? Does the ladies get paid for the creepy trailer remix if I got five on it or just the radio edit? So grab your buddies to take the ultimate horror Rorschach test, where you'll see a bunny and think, ah, a clever nod to the black folktale tradition of Br'er Rabbit. Or, huh, Jordan Peele must have really hated his Toy Story 4 character. To infinity and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Or, you know what? Sometimes a rabbit is just a rabbit. Now get your head out of your ass and go back to the stabby stabby. You understand? <laughs> Same. Starring Mom's Kanata, Zora Neale Hurton, Thigh Master, <laughs> Spaghetti, L'Oreal, Because You're Worth It, and Twins. Attack of the Clones. Based on how frequently they appear in movies, you think people are walking through halls of mirrors like every day. This episode is sponsored by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your mother was no Sharon Stone. Red is sus. If it's too loud, 
you're too old. Delusions. 